Oi, boys, welcome back. Welcome back to some Rugby League Live 2 action. Jeez, that crowd, initial crowd reaction is loud. Uh, we've got a slight change to our lineup today. We've welcoming back Jacob Loco into the centers and we've dropped Ken Seal. A little risky given that Ken Seal's form was on the up. Uh, we'll see how uh, Jacob Loco does and if his form doesn't really change, I guess, we'll bring Seal back into the side. We'll try another youngster. There's also Hayne we could move to centers and RTS to fullback. First touch of the day. Jared Hay, nice little shimmy to get around one. You see Sandow as well. Bit of feeling, all right. That kick is not going to go out, but we do make the catch. Big shifts. Oh, straight into one of the bunnies. Been some nice returns with uh, Jared Hain. I think um, I gotta stop like holding the fin button. As two of us a check, find space. Oh, All the footwork from a young Roger Tuivas a check, and he'll take it to the house. I do like how they're already starting to feel a little bit faster, both him and uh, Vajradra. Bit of a toughie to get us on the way with the kicking. Now that's a way to the left. I saw a run by Fui. Plenty involved. Not much has happened. As we try a short side play. Nice little flat border. Willie Tonga, I was about to say Essie. That's a nice offload. God, I love the offloading in here. Timmy Manor. Nice quick passes. Jacob Loco into some space. Back to the bunnies. Again, the error costing us. Or not yet. So we try to rip it back. It's been a dope game. Close game. That's a great ball from Moy Moy to Hain. Nice one on one tackle. Try and throw them over the sideline off this. All right. Oof, those are the ineffective fins. Still only four points. That's our charger. Stay in. Could have easily got pummeled into touch. Boy, boy, taken. Sunny Burgess. Bit of cheese. We try to cheese the fullback. Benji threads the needle. And it's taken nicely there by. 20 out. What's the kick looking like? The high ball. There it is. Nicely placed, but it's not League Live 4, so. Never mind. I'll eat my words. <laughs> Sandow gets a manhandled. That is such a dope animation. That was Adam Blair, too. So it makes sense. I think this was made for, like, this sort of situation and the sideline, I guess. Slow to get onside. Here's the shot. G.I. goes himself. Damn. Couldn't stop them, eh? They finally get over. It took about 50 minutes. Let it go. All right, our feet to the scrum. Benji to Wuli Tonga. Like I was saying, um, ooh, Benji, drawing pass, and you're not catching the. 
Steve races away. We'll take that. Another pretty tough kick, but it's on the favoured side. Beautiful. Four points in it. Nice defense. I was, I was going to say it was a nice little play, but nice space there. Benji Marshall step. Two busts a ship. Wait, how is that an interception? Meredith on the other side of the player. Man, that's rough. Two points. Couple of minutes to Steal this one back. Nice offload, Benji with the fend. Spamming the heck out of that. Fend forward pass. No way that was forward. So before we jump into the next game, I'll be honest boys, I didn't expect to lose this many times. This early, round five, we are two wins and three losses. And this next game, we are playing against the league leaders, the Brisbane Broncos. Who are four and one so let's dive straight in expect to see them attacking the fringes rather than trying to bash their opponents boards down the middle as they have a lot of speed to burn out there and it's where they've been most dangerous i'm looking forward to a feast of tries from them in this one a lot of tries the order of the day that's hectic i wanted to wait to see what they'd say because sometimes they gas up uh, the favorites, which they just did, or they, they crap on the, I guess, lesser team coming into this one. But yeah, take a look at the jerseys, boys. It's Heritage Round. They even got the Heritage Ball in the game. These minor details is what was sorely missed from Rugby League Live 3 and 4. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff, minor details. How about that start from Gerard Yao Yi? He tried putting a hit on with uh, Chrissy Sandow. Known to put one on back in the day. But here we go. That's what we're looking for. Ben Hunt gets folded. Oof. A runaway Buffalo. Oh, he wants to no parts. Corey Norman did everything but run towards Fui Fui. As Hain is taken. The chance our arms still. We'll go back to the short side here. The delayed pass. Oh, that's poor defense by the Bronx. Let's go. 6 0. Get off to a good start. They do feel, I guess, better than the Bunnies. That's a great ball. Nice bit of play here from the Bronx. Stag eventually take it inside the 30. Terrible pass. Two more plays. Looking for the hits. They still find the pass. And Gillette's taken. Fui Fui Moi Moi. What a tackle. They charged their arm on the last. That's dope to see. He actually went for the sidestep, Corey Norman. It's kind of satisfying when the passes stick like that. So is the... Uh, oh, that's overcooked. I was going to say, so is the sound effects. As they come down the short side, the fin. Oh, what is that? The animation just not register? And he's showboating as well. To the left. <laughs> Could feel that one coming. As soon as I saw Benji run in front of the ball. That was it. 
Six point lead. Solid defense. Our reward is to start our set on the 40. And let's get to work. Trying to cook something up. There's a nice little bump. Why is he in the pocket like that? Nice ball to Benji in space. Should have been for the 360. Still numbers here. And we slide over with ease. That was nice. Bro, this game. So satisfying. Defense scrambling, can't keep up. This definitely feels like a bit of momentum. Wow, I gained space. That's a that's a few times that's happened these last two games. It's just space in the middle. Like I was saying before, I'm trying not to hold the fin button because he always sidesteps. It would have slowed us down if it happened to ready my tour. Ooh, one on one, what a tackle. Damn, too much on it. They love the short side, they love this right edge in general. I'm gonna try and put a hit on Jack Reed, the cheeky guy. Right, we'll take that. Knock on, thank you very much. The cinematic view with the handheld effect it looks like. Bro, I can't help but glaze all these little aspects. Oh, he's gone. Right, Roger. Let's go, we hit right back. Hectic way to start the second. Crowd booing. Won't put him off. Back to a six point lead. What a game. Man, those four passes. It's a league life four habit. A double tap. Uh, the pass is out of dummy half. Corey Norman off the offload. Back on the angle, Justin Hodges. We've seen a few decent little plays here from the AI. As they chance their arm to yell, you get him, Adams. Here, here. I thought we were going to get run over. I'm not going to lie. All good. With an all good run. I will see myself out. Ah, uh, yeah, Jacob Loco. I don't know about that, eh? That's all good, fine space. Looks for support through Smith. Keep it moving. No one behind the wreck here. That is eerily similar to the try squad against him last night. Look at this. All that space. <laughs> the big boy running the. There she blows. One more play to score a consolation for the Bronx. We knock off the top dog, or the lead horse in Brisbane's case. Man, that feels good. What a performance. Ooh, achievement unlocked. We'll check these out every time they pop up. Coach Pleaser. Get a completion rate of 80% or more in a match. All right, all right. Love that. New accounts, you'll see plenty of achievements. Anyway, boys, this should be a doozy of an ep. We got two games, one win, one loss. I'm having such a blast on League Live 2. I say it every time, but it is a breath of fresh air, alternating between uh, the three League games we have at the moment. But yeah, we're going to wrap it up there, boys. If you did enjoy that, so be sure to run and share the like button. Also, members coming soon. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you later. later.